All right, guys, so I am about to calibrate the meter. And before you calibrate it, you always want to test where it's at to see how accurate it is. So in these two cups, I have the 4.0 solution and the 6.8 solution that the meter comes with. And you mix the full bag of each solution with 1.1 cups or 250 milliliters of water as accurate as you can be with this, the better. So if you have something to measure exactly out 250 milliliters, do that. 1.1 cups is pretty much what it is um, off uh, about 0.05 cups, I think. But uh, either way, you're gonna be very accurate. You just need to make sure it's completely dissolved before you do this test and you do so by mashing it and stirring it vigorously, and it might take a couple minutes for the 4.0 to completely dissolve. So I would recommend that before you dump it out, you take it in the pack and you mash it up a little bit before opening it so it comes out a little bit more crushed. So um, again, 4.0 solution, I put the meter in here and it's reading 3.5, so it's a little bit off, of course, we are going to calibrate it. First thing I need to do is this rubber stomp on the back here. You need to take this off so we can uh, press the calibrate button. Now that rubber stomp, you're actually gonna wanna save because the device is not waterproof if water gets into that hole. So we want to cover it. And this is that same button that we're gonna press to switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit too. You have to press it for about a second to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And then we hold it down for a few seconds to uh, enter calibration mode. Um, last thing to note here, uh, you do need to use some pretty skinny and tall cups because otherwise the water level won't be high enough with only 1.1 cups in there. So yes, yeah, skinny cups. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and press the button for a few seconds there. Cool, it's in calibration mode. And this is just a paper clip unbent so that you can press inside there. So it wants me to put it in the 4.0 solution, which it is. And then after it's been in there for a little bit, I even swirl it around a bit, make sure the probe is completely exposed to the 4.0 solution then we are going to press the button again. And then those lines are gonna come up and it's reading that it's in the 4.0. Cool, now it's done, it wants to go to the 6.8. Now the reason why I'm doing this by the sink is because you wanna rinse it in between sessions and especially because the rubber stomp is off right now, we don't wanna pour water into it like this, okay? We wanna uh, hit it from the side because there's these little slits on the side and we're gonna use room temp water again. We're just gonna come right through the side here and rinse out that 4.0 solution that may have been stuck on there. I'm gonna put it into the 6.8, swirl it around, try not to get any of the water out of the cup. I want to give it at least 10 seconds here, if not 15, just to be safe. Might as well be safe here. So should be good now. Press the button. Lines come up. Device resets. And then we'll test our work by giving it a second to adjust and find it's proper levels. TDS jumps around a little bit at the beginning, especially in a solution like this. There's all this powder swirling around um, or microscopic particles. So that's why the TDS might be a little jumpy in these solutions. But obviously we want this pH to settle at 6.8. And it looks like it's going to do so. So it's calibrated to 6.8 in the solution. Go ahead and rinse it off.